Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our thrilling tale. Today, we're diving into the heart of Amherst, where the town square is alive with an electric tension. Picture this. An ancient tree stands tall at the center, its gnarled branches swaying gently, almost as if it's whispering secrets to the townsfolk gathered around. The air crackles with energy, like the first hints of a summer storm. Our heroes, Lila, Finn, and Evelyn are at the forefront, ready to uncover the mysteries that bind this community together. So, buckle up and get ready for a journey filled with intrigue, emotion, and the power of storytelling. Let's dive in. In the heart of Amherst, the town square buzzed with an electric tension. The ancient tree, a towering sentinel of secrets, stood at the center, its gnarled branches swaying gently. Lila, with her chestnut curls bouncing, stood at the forefront, flanked by Finn and Evelyn. The trio had become an unlikely coalition, united by the whispers of the tree and the stories they had unearthed. As the townspeople assembled, their faces reflected a mosaic of emotions, curiosity, fear, and a flicker of hope. Lila felt the weight of their gazes, each pair of eyes a mirror reflecting the town's collective history. She took a deep breath, her bright green eyes scanning the crowd, searching for the familiar face of Mr. Collins, the mayor. He stood at the back, arms crossed, his stern expression betraying nothing but a fierce determination to maintain control. Evelyn, with her silver hair glinting in the sunlight, stepped forward, her voice a soothing balm amidst the rising tension. Today, we gather not just to confront the past, but to embrace it. Each of you carries a story, a thread in the tapestry of our community. It is time we weave those threads together. Finn, standing beside Lila, felt a surge of courage. He had spent too long in the shadows of his family's legacy. And now, as he looked at Lila, he understood the importance of vulnerability. He stepped forward, his voice steady yet filled with emotion. We've uncovered truths that bind us, truths that can heal our town. But we need to share them, to face our fears together. A murmur rippled through the crowd, a mixture of apprehension and intrigue. Lila seized the moment, her storytelling instincts igniting. The tree has shown us the stories of our past, stories of love, loss, and resilience. Each secret we reveal is a step toward understanding one another. But Mr. Collins, his face a mask of defiance, interrupted. And what of the chaos that follows? What of the traditions we risk losing? His voice boomed, echoing off the cobblestones, igniting a flicker of dissent among the townsfolk. Lila felt the tension escalate, the air thick with unspoken fears. Yet, amidst the rising conflict, she noticed a shift. A woman in the front row, her hands trembling, began to speak. I lost my brother to the very secrets we hide. It's time we stop burying our pain. As the woman's voice broke the dam of silence, others began to share their stories, each revelation a step toward reconciliation. Lila's heart swelled with hope as she realized the power of their collective truths. The tree, once a mere backdrop to their lives, now stood as a beacon of growth and wisdom, urging the townsfolk to embrace their shared humanity.